Hey, hey guys, it's the Buckshack Boys here today. Today we are showing you the Catawba Worm. So if you notice, it's got this spike here. I don't know why. It's got a spike though. That's pretty cool. It's a caterpillar. He's fuzzy. Yeah, it's really he's fuzzy. He's really fuzzy on It's the really top. fuzzy and soft. And he's got black, white, and yellow. That's his color. Look at his head here. So, they're, these Catawba worms, they eat Catawba tree, the leaves off of the Catawba trees. Here's one of the leaves, and that's one of the trees. Yeah, this tree has them all over it. Okay, now take a look at the tree up above it. Up here. Within just a couple days, they've eaten almost all the leaves off the tree. And there's like a hundred worms on this one tree. They're all over it. So, these worms are great to fish with. Fish love them. Here he is. I'll put him in my hand for you. <laughs> he tickles. So now we're going to do the life cycle. So they'll, they lay their eggs, and then when they hatch, they turn into these worms, and they'll eat the leaves off the trees, and um, then they'll t go into their cocoons after that, and they'll um, come out as a hawk moth. So they'll, just like a normal moth would, these worms turn into a hawk moth. I don't know why they're called a hawk moth. What do we call them when we uh, yeah. fish with them? Um, s most people call these, instead of the other name I said that I forgot, um, they call mostly, most of the time we call them pea worms because they like, they leave yellow. They on leave yellow and stuff like on your hands. It looks like and stuff, and it looks like pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's hanging off the side of the leaf right now. Cool. It was on that side. Um, Bug, Bug Shack, Shack Brothers. Brothers.